my best practice topic is to choose between like biological or mechanical valve. So as you see, I'm very young cardiac surgeon, let's say, so maybe I have a different point of view. Um, I'm maybe not that conservative than uh, older or elderly cardiac surgeons uh, when it comes to the choice of the preference of biological valve. So I have to say we all know about the guidelines which tell us uh, yeah, 65 years for aortic valve, that's the cutoff for the mechanical and the biological valve, and a little bit less like 60 for the mitral valve. I must say that um, I don't take it that seriously anymore because we all know about the literature that the biological valves are getting better and better uh, in terms of uh, endurance and uh, long-lasting and long-term outcomes. So even when I have a 55-year-old patient, he decides uh, to get the biological valve after that I talk to him about the possibility that it is going to deteriorate or it's going to calcify much sooner than the mechanical valve, but he is willing to accept it just not to have the possible side effects of oral anticoagulation. I think nowadays uh, with the emerging techniques and uh, the better and better biological valves, it is actually, I think, uh, time even for the guidelines to, to cut down with the age. We all know it also from the literature and from the ongoing big um, studies uh, that the biological valves are going to have a uh, better long-term durability than we used to have it in the past 20 and 30 years when everything started. So. Um, it's my personal choice, of course, to say like between 55 and 65. So I think it's a gray zone nowadays. And uh, it's also important uh, that the patient has a annulus which is large enough to implant a uh, large uh, biological valve, which makes it possible to uh, make interventional treatment uh, 10 or 15 years after the surgical implant, so you don't have to do redo surgery again after those years. So when you have an annulus, which is of course quite small, like uh, 20 or 22 millimeters, then of course it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Then you can do also a annulus, um, an annulus enlargement plastic to have a large enough biological valve to have the possibility to do some interventional uh, tavis later on when it deteriorates even in the young patients. So my personal choice when a patient comes who wants to have the mechanical valve <laughs> even when he's 55 or she is 55, it can happen because uh, referring cardiologists also have their best practice and their best practice point of views. And sometimes patients already wish to get a mechanical valve who are around 60 years of age. Then of course, I'm going to accept that and I'm also going to talk to the patient about the possibility, the possibility that uh, there is a biological valve available as well for them when they're 60 years of age. That is the gray zone, but of course we have to talk about also about the oral anticoagulation and the side effects.